Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about a few um, networking commands that you need for penetration testing or for pen testing. So the, the commands I'm going to be showing uh, mostly on Linux or, or Kali Linux. Uh, some of these uh, these commands have also applied to um, Microsoft Windows uh, devices as well. So the first command will be ifconfig. So I'll, I'll show that command. I'll run it. I'll open here. I'll just go to the terminal on the Kali Linux machine. And the command is ifconfig. And what this does is it, it's just going to show you the IP address for your Ethernet cards. So the most important thing you're looking at here is the um, IPv4 address, the 192.168.1.252 with the net mask of 255.255.255.0, or also called a slash 24. And then the broad broadcast address, which is 192.168.1.255. And then there's also the loopback address, which is just uh, internal, normally just used for troubleshooting. 127.0.0.1. The, the same results can be obtained using um, the IP address command. And this one is, is much better because it, it highlights the, uh, the actual IP address which we need here for the Ethernet 0. And uh, instead of writing the entire mask, it's just using a slash. It says a slash 24. And then it gives you the broadcast here. It also gives you the IPv6 address here. All right, so that's the um, command that you would use in order to determine a device's IP address, which uh, the device is used to communicate on the network. Another uh, command you, you'd want to know is um, iwconfig, but this one is if you're using a wireless um, uh, network card, that's the, that's the time you'll use this command. In this case, we don't have any wireless um, network adapter, so it's not it's not displaying anything for us as far as our IP address is concerned. Um, another good command to know is the ping command. So the ping command allows you to check uh, if a, a device is alive, if a device is going to respond. So, for instance, here we know we have a default. We have a default gateway. Um, the default gateway is normally uh, it normally ends with dot one, depending on your network. So on this one, I know it's a one nine two one six eight dot one dot one. So what I can do, I can try and see if I can ping it. And this is successful. So this is going to keep going. The only way to stop it is to do control C and that will stop it. So if you ping something that's, uh, let's say it's not alive or it's not uh, reachable or it's not on your network, or if it's uh, blocking uh, ICMP, which ping uses, uh, you won't get any results. So if we ping, for instance, 192.168.1.1, uh, let's say 256, no, 254. This one should fail because there's no IP, no device using that IP. Another command that you can use is the app command. It's also called the address resolution protocol command. This one, it, it's used to display the mappings between IP addresses and the, the associated MAC address. So for instance, for the default gateway, we know that it's 192.168.1.1. If uh, a device before it communicates on the network, so this is going to be used mostly on um, on layer two and on layer three they use the IP addresses and on la layer four, which is the network uh, layer, they use uh, ports. So we can we can find out what MAC addresses are associated with with uh, which IP addresses. So the command is app. It should, it should show the app cache depending on what the uh, what IP addresses the, the 
the devices the device knows so far so like i was saying in this case this one this is the default gateway uh, this computer knows that the, the mac address with the which is also called called the hardware address it knows that the, the, the mac address for the default gateway is 0, 0042 uh, 5a, 5b, 7b, and c1. So, so this is a this is a virtual machine, and the host is uh, 192.168.1. I believe 251. If we can ping it, we might be able to uh, record the uh, the MAC address for it as well. If it's not blocking pings, that is. But if the, the firewall is blocking pings, we can't ping it. So in this case, it looks like it's, it's blocking pings. You can try the, the app command again. See if it resolved that for that IP address. And sure enough, yes, it did resolve it. So that the MAC address for the host, as you can see, is different. You were able to resolve it by uh, sending a ping. So when you send a ping, it's going to do, the first thing it's going to do is going to send a broadcast asking who who has that IP address. And if this device responds, it's going to also respond with its MAC address, which is what you're getting here using the, uh, the, the app command. Uh, the next command is the net start, which, which, one, which is a command that shows you the network statistics. Pretty much what it displays, it, it's, it's going to display any active network connections. Uh, also, it can display ports that the computer is listening on. So the, the command is net start. And that's going to, uh, whatever connections you have internally uh, and as, uh, any other commands you have, like to a uh, website, it's going to list them all. So in this case, it's, since I don't have any connections to, uh, to any website online, it's, it's just Pretty much showing me internal connections and the ports, associated ports. And then it's also showing uh, a connection to the default gateway. Uh, the last command that you you'd need to know is the uh, networking command, is the route command. So what this this command does is it's going to show you the display the IP routing table, which pretty much tells uh, the computer how to get to a, a given destination. So for instance, here it says the the default route or the route to anything that it doesn't know will be sent to like if you have an IP address that is not on this routing table, it's going to send that uh, request if you're trying to reach that. Um, an IP that, that's not existing on the routing table here, it's gonna send the, the, the request to this gateway here. So, so the routing table is what, you know, networking devices, even as routers use to determine how to uh, get to the next hop or how to get to a, a given destination. So th those are mainly the, the most, uh, most commonly used commands as far as uh, networking commands. When you're doing your pen testing so there are different scenarios that you'll need those to know those commands in order to uh, find what you're, you're trying to find uh, so that's that's it for this video um, i hope this information is useful i'll see you all in my next video thanks bye